All right, so let's clean this pattern up a little before we continue. I will come over here and then unlock that baseline right there and then use this edit pattern tool. We want to remove the line we don't need. Such as this, this. And we are going to simply select this line here and right click. We want to extend slash trim to pattern outline as well as this one. Right click and then select extend to pattern outline and let's remove this point here. Also remove this right here as well. All right, next, I'm going to come over here and then lock that baseline once again. Okay, we want to create notches for the pattern. We want to create one over here and then two over here. Simply use this notch tool and hover the mouse on to that line. Right click and we want to type in nine centimeter. And then over here, right click, we want to type in 11. And then right click, we want to type in nine here. And the same here, so 11 and then 9. Then over here, we want to type in 9. All right, after that, we want to place the pattern onto the avatar and show them to see how the pattern fit. To do so, I'm going to turn on this show arrangement point and we're going to begin placing this front pattern first, then the sleeve, then the back. After that, let's simply hide that show arrangement point and we are going to sew the pattern. I will use segment sewing tool first to sew the sleeve and the shoulder. Then I will switch the tool to free sewing tool and then start sewing the sleeve cap to the armhole. Be sure to press on shift and then release the shift and then finish. And we want to sew this as well. So after that, we want to make a copy. I will use the transform pattern tool. Mackey selects all the pattern pieces, right click and select symmetric pattern with sewing. And zoom in a little bit closer. Press on shift and click one to place the pattern. Next, let's sew the back pattern together as well as the front pattern. And let's simulate. 